Okay, so how do you render your movie or your render your scene in Cinema 4D? So let's say you've animated everything in. I didn't animate everything, but uh, I animated how to animate up to this point in the last video. So this should be like 24 frames per second. But let's go to our render settings. So we go over here, everything's on physical. We go to output. Now what it is, is this right here, the frame range, current frame. So when it's on current frame, it only renders one frame. So when you render in this right here, it's only rendering one frame. The current frame that it's on. So that was on uh, frame, what, zero? which remember I animated this stuff coming in. So if I press play again, you know, this is with uh, the objects animated in. So if I go over here to um, preview frames or at least manual, we can decide, right? So right now, everything is going from one to 66, right? Or zero to 66. So I just go over here to this zero from frame zero to six, six. Right? And it says from zero to 66. Then we go over to the save. We can do format MP4. <clears throat> Let me go to file, click right here, and I can say, I don't know. Joshua room, right? It's going to save as a .mp4. Now what you do is you just click right here to render. And it's going to go through this and it's going to render all these frames so let's just wait till it goes to uh let's say maybe like 30 or so it's going pretty quick there's no hdri in there um I have to check the render settings. And also there's a way to uh, clean it up. It looks pretty clean so far. I don't see any artifacts, but I do see a little bit of noise. And what I mean by noise is this right here, this graininess. And that could be cleaned up with some, uh, adjusting some anti-alias settings. And what that is, is that's um, pixels that are uh, well, it's sampling, that's what it is. And, you know, there's a whole scientific uh, way to go through and figure out what sampling is, but let's just say it's uh, quality control, right? Kind of like, is it going to be clean or is it going to be fuzzy and pixelated? So it's like a low resolution image versus like a crisp 4K resolution image type of thing. And so when something uh, has low samples, low amount of samples, it uh, looks like that. The rest looks kind of clean, but the rest doesn't have any texture, so it's hard to tell what will happen. And of course, the textures for this and the rug are on your computer, so I can't see how they look. So yeah, so this thing comes in, it renders, uh, like I said, it's rendering really fast, but you know, my machine's pretty fast too. 2080 Ti graphics card, so. Could be the reason why. Um, yeah, so there's a way to go in here and adjust this as well. So. If I go to anti-aliasing, which like I said, is like um, uh, quality control. Let me go through some of these settings. So this is it right here, right? So right now it's uh, sampling quality is low. And the reason why it's low is because it wants to 
to, you, you wanna see the preview fast. So when you render, you don't wanna see a final image like every time you're testing a render. So it's already set to low for you. Sampling subdivisions is low and uh, the minimum is at zero, the maximum is at three. So that means that it's gonna go through here, do like a pass um, to um, check all the pixels. And I think it, it goes to every pixel and it looks for the pixel next to it and sees how close that color is to its color. I think that's kind of how it works. But like I said, the more samples it has, the better it looks. So if I was to go switch this to high, I don't know what will happen with this. If it'll stop it or what, I'm not sure if it'll change, but you know, let's just see, right? So right now it's at two subdivisions. The subdivisions is how it splits the pixels and looks at it. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like the sphere when you start off, it has a low amount of polygons. And then when you increase the, the, um, the segment, how it becomes smoother. So it's kind of like that in a way, what's well, the best way I know to explain it. But if I change this to low, these numbers are gonna change. So it's two subdivisions, zero minimum, three maximum. So if we go to minimum, I mean, mid medium, now it's four subdivisions, two and it's five. And I think, yeah, as you can see, it did, it changed it. Oh, maybe it didn't, I thought it did. But yeah, when these are, are higher, that means um, your image is a lot cleaner. So let me just put it back to low. So it's almost done here. And we're gonna see what we're looking at. And I believe you can play it while it's in there. Yeah. Okay, great. So this shows you preview. And most programs you have to like take this into like nuke and composite it and then you can see the preview. But this you don't. So you can see when you do this and you put different shaders on everything and put the textures how it will look a lot cooler. All right. So now it comes time to saving this. So to do that, we would just go to file. Oh wait, it's file, save image as. Instead of doing still image, you want to do animation MP4 from zero to 66, frame per seconds 30, DPI 72, that's fine. And then we go to OK. And then it says, Josh, remember, I saved the name of this. Why well, I wrote that. Well, you, you know, you can go back to the video and see that. Do you want to replace it? Let's just say, just because I don't want to jack anything up. Video. Cool. Now, what I can do is I can go over here and find my file, so it's desktop. Okay, so here we are. Josh will room MP4. I think it should be the same thing. Okay, so yeah, this is what it was in the beginning. So I press play. There you go. And then you're done. Now you can put it on Instagram and get some likes and go viral. You know?
And that's it.